In Maryland, where the average price of a home is $350,000, this house costs just $16,000. Come on in. Eric Hempstead built this house with his own hands. There is no air conditioning, just fans, and in winter, the heat comes from a wood-burning stove. The house is about 50 square meters, has two bedrooms, a kitchen, and a bathroom. It's also entirely made of natural and recycled materials, and the walls are made of straw. We tried to build it as locally as possible. The clay is all from the ground. The, the wood is from a, a farm nearby that decided to get rid of their old fence. Plus it's rather expensive. Eric it's takes us outside to give us a demonstration of his recipe to build walls. The first thing is cactus, which we take the leaf and we cut it up and we soak it in water at least overnight. That, that seems to work as a kind of a binder for the, for the plaster. And we are going to use a little bit of horse manure. We have chopped straw, clay, goes the sand. Eric explains that getting materials locally lowers transportation costs. He got the clay from the land around the house. Other materials were traded with neighbors and the horse farm is right next door. <laughs> Using simple tools and his hands, the mixture is smeared onto the straw bales. You just take you just take the, the clay, try to work it in really well. The first coat you want to penetrate into the bale so it can really grab on. On top of the house, Eric explains the roof, covered with rocks, plastic and plants, will provide a natural insulation that lowers the risk of flooding and the cost of future roof repairs. It will have plants on it. It's also called a green roof, and that is a, a, a good thing because a regular roof, like this roof over here, for example, after maybe 30 years, the sun, every day the sun hits it, hits it, hits it, it finally goes, ugh, and it dies. A living roof is just like your lawn. It's always alive. So this house is going to be, this roof is going to be in place for the next 50 years. A straw bale house was displayed here in Washington to showcase its unique characteristics. It also exemplifies the growing environmental awareness in America. Reporting from Maryland, for Voice of America, I'm Heather Fung.